Welcome back to your daily bedtime stories. Tonight's story is The Song of Six Birds by Rene Dietlifs. Lindiwe lay on her grass mat, sleepily aware of the music, morning as it stole into her ears. Cattle lowed, buckets tinkled, and goats bleated. Lindiwe yawned and then blinked her eyes. Next to her, on the smooth, cool floor, lay a flute, an African flute, just like the ones in the wayside store. Mama! She whispered, is this flute for me? Indeed, Lindywe, smiled her mother, as she played with the baby. It is for you, child, who loves music. Up jumps Lindywe. Mama, she cried, a flute is full of music. Just listen. Putting her lips to the flute, she drew a mighty breath and blew. What a shattering noise! The dozing dog started up and howled. The chicken squawked and the baby screamed with fright. Lindywe peered to the dark tunnel of her flute. No sign of music there. What's wrong with her flute? Lindywe wondered. I must find the music for it. So off she went, past two old mamas weaving grass mats, all the way to the river in search of music for her flute. Mom! called a crowned crane, preening herself in the morning sunlight. Crane, begged Lindywe, share your trumpet call with me. This flute needs music. Mime, trumpeted the royal bird. The echo of his call flew into Lindywe's flute. Thank you, she shouted, jumping from stone to stone as she crossed the river. Mime, Mime, Mime. A boy was herding goats on the other side. A hornbull called from a rock. Hornbull, said Lindywe, you see my flute? It is new and cannot sing yet like you. Share with me a toki tok. Tok, tok, tok. The hornbull obliged, and into Lindywe's flute fell the bright round sound. Thank you, hornbull, she cried. Along a dusty path, a woman was hanging blankets. On a bush to air, unseen a bird sang. Do, 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 do. Quiet as a mouse, Lindywe listened to the soft, falling notes. Don't hide from me, Rainbird, she whispered. This flute needs a song from you. But the Rainbird would not open its beak. So Lindywe waited and waited. At last, among the leaves, the Rainbird peered. Holding out her flute, Lindywe quickly caught a doo 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 doo. Thank you, shy rainbow, she softly said. Then, suddenly, Lindywe shrieked. A hornet sting burned her arm. Off she ran to the village medicine man who was quietly gathering herbs nearby. Look at my arm! Sobbed Lindywe. Look at my flute. I don't want the sound of sobs inside it. The wise old man smiled, laying a cool herb leaf on her throbbing arm. But a flute should sometimes sob, he said. Ask that hoopoe. Lindywe turned and saw the hoopoe searching the ground for insects. Raising and luring his crest, he cried, Whoop! Whoop! Lindywe wiped away her tears. Whoop, Please share your song with me. So whoop, whoop, he called again. Lindywe laughed. The mellow song was safely in her flute. 
On the edge of the village, Lindiwe stood aside for an old man riding his bicycle. A jar heavy with honey was balanced on his carrier. Following him was a paradise flycatcher. A tiny ripple of sound settled at the tip of her flute. Now the sun hung low and Lindiwe's shadow was long. And just before the sun set, a wood owl called. Woo! 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 Lindiwe caught the sound in her flute. She peered into it and a smile spread slowly over her face. The song of six birds filled it. It was time to hurry home, and hurry home she did, followed by the six birds. They all made music while she ran. Together their joyous sounds carried through the village, calling everyone to join in the fun. Humming and swaying to the music, the two old mummers left their looms. Then the boy and the goats came campering along. Singing like a bird ran the woman with the blankets. Prancing and chancing came the medicine man, and dancing like he used to long ago came the old man with the bicycle. Then Diwe's mother, hearing all the jolly sounds, smiled proudly. Here is my child of music, she said. I have made my special stew so all can join in a feast. Now eating, now singing, now dancing, the happy party went on long into the night. The air was filled with music of Lindiwe's flute and the song of six birds. The end. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite.